Destiny is that which we are drawn towards, and fate is that which we run into. Said by the famous Wyatt Earp, who was most famous for his involvement in the mysterious shooting that took place in the small town of Tombstone, Arizona. The city of Tombstone, Arizona was founded by the man known as Ed Schieflin. Ed was a scout and a prospector who came across silver in the territory of Arizona. This finding led to the discovery of Tombstone, Arizona. As people began to find out about this peculiar town, they flooded the area. Through the unsettled summer of 1881, gangs and bands of rustlers crowded through the backcountry, stealing cattle from Mexican ranchers in Arizona and New Mexico, and then selling them to ranchers for resale. This cattle scam drew little attention from the American population that was more interested in obtaining wealth in the new mining areas. The U.S. was expanding to the West after the Civil War, and class and economic tension began to arise, mainly in Tombstone. In other words, a political power struggle formed. On one side was the country families who owned cattle farms and lived in ranches. They were led by the families named the Clantons and McClurys. Their representation was a cowboy. They were named Tom and Frank McClory and Billy and Ike Clayton. On the other side, it was wealthy mine own owners and businessmen. It was backed up by the family of Morgan Wyatt and Virgil Earp. Doc Holliday was as well joined as he had a reputation of being a gambler and a drunk. In August of 1882, the borders closed due to another cattle raid, and outlawry against Americans grew more common in the backcountry. The Earps appeared as the head law officers, taking a combative stand against the area's criminal regions. However, the Cowboys disapproved of their actions. This political struggle between the two groups soon paved the way to be one of the most famous shootings in U.S. history today, the O.K. Corral Shootout. This shootout has become an iconic event in the history of the Wild West. The businessmen Wyatt Earp and his brothers, Morgan and Virgil, and his friend Doc Holliday faced off against a team of cowboys who ran reckless through the town of Tombstone. The town had been facing many forms of corruption from the very beginning. Wealthy merchants set up shops in Tombstone in hopes of cashing in on the mines. It wasn't a secret that the streets of Tombstone were flooded with cash, but the town didn't have a lawman to keep everything in order. This hectic town brought in a ton of dangerous people that were rustlers and thieves. The town was soon taken over with gambling houses, violence, and saloons. In the early 1880s, smuggling and theft of cattle, alcohol, and tobacco across the U.S. and Mexico border, about 30 miles from Tombstone, were common. The illegal cross-border smuggling made for lawlessness of the region. Many of these crimes were committed by the label of cowboys, a loosely organized band of friends and acquaintances who teamed up for various crimes and came to each other's aid. Because of the corruption in the town, it resulted in a personal, family, and political feud. The lawlessness of the town was a main factor of the shooting. Under Virgil, it was carry any weapons within the town, this mainly just gave them any reason to arrest a cowboy. Meanwhile, the county sheriff, John Behan, did little to bring the cowboy thieves to justice. Wyatt Earp tried to prove himself to win the position of county sheriff, so he stuck a deal with a rancher named Ike Clayton, who was close with the cowboys to bring the thieves to justice. Earp promised Clayton a $6,000 reward. The day before the gunfight, Clanton tracked down Wyatt Earp and threatened him. The situation led to the gunfight the following day around 3 o'clock p.m. The Earp brothers along with Doc Holliday spotted five cowboys loading up guns. Ike Clanton and Frank McClurry and Tom McClurry and Clanton's 19-year-old brother Billy. The cowboys were on the run to plot revenge against the lawmen going behind the OK Corral. Virgil yelled to the men, telling them he had come to disarm them, but what happens next remains a mystery.
The aftermath of the shootout resulted in what many took sides with the deceased cowboys. The funeral happened to be one of the largest in Tombstone history. After months of testimonies and court cases, a judge named Wells Spicer said that the gunfight had not been a few lawmen keeping order, but rather an act of violence by men with a vendetta. Whether people agreed with Judge Spicer remains in debate today, but the gunfight at the OK Corral was to be remembered. Major events occurred shortly after the verdict of the trial for the gunfight. A cowboy had fired a shot through the glass door of the saloon and into Virgil Earp's back. Virgil survived, but his brother Morgan died. Another assassination occurred when in a game of pool, and her brother was shot in the back. These shootings were were revenge coming from both sides of the groups from the outcome of the OK Corral shooting. The gunfight still remains a mystery and famous moment in American history. It entirely portrayed the dull area of justice that occurred in the Wild West because of the shootout was both alienating and controversial that resulted in a mystery of which group actually won. The corruption lawlessness, and political status of the two groups that wanted to win over the town of Tombstone left a big influence on how towns handle laws, crimes, and the ways of their communities live today.